Welcome to another video on Windows 8 and Microsoft Surface. It's been a little while, so I actually don't remember the, um, the, the number I'm on for videos, um, but I'll put it up in the title. Um, the one thing I did point out in a number of messages on the site and want to reiterate here is everything I've shown so far has been on the Surface RT, so not the Surface Pro. The RT is the one with the ARM processor, so a little bit cheaper and um, it only runs the new Windows devices. Um, at some point I'm hoping to get a Surface Pro and I'll show those applications when I have it. Um, but this one as well is running on the RT version version of the Surface. And so the application I want to show you is a new one that um, was just made available I think a couple weeks ago called Bing Translator. And so Bing has had a translator on the web for some time but now they've made a Windows application. And so just like all the other applications you go to the Microsoft Store to download it. I've already done that and you can see it's over here Bing Translator. So I'll click that and start it up. So the first thing that you're going to get um, when you open up this application is it's a little text box and you can translate. It has a number of different languages, but I don't know Spanish, but let's say I wanted to know um, what time is it in Spanish. So I can type that in and then just hit the arrow here and it will translate it. Um, so there's the, the text. I'm not sure if it's going to show up in the video or not. The other nice thing is it will actually read it out to you. Um, so I'll see if the microphone picks this up. A um, little bit fast, but it, it does read it out so that you can get an idea of how to pronounce it. Um, and this little icon here, the two arrows, allows you to switch the languages. So if you want to go from Spanish to English, you type that and now and then it just switches them. So I can do I believe hola is hello, so if I do that translation, oh, Spanish to English, oh, what is it? H-O-L-A, there we go, I'll try that, there we go, hello, and then of course I'll read in English. Hello if we wanted to read in English. Now, if you want to change languages or do some of the other options, you just swipe down from the upper edge and you can see there's a few options here. So we can go to languages and it will list out all the languages that are available. Um, so translating from, there's quite a few and it's sort of funny, one of them is actually Klingon. You can translate to and from Klingon. Um, but I think, I think I've read somewhere there was like 42, 42 languages or something like that. Now the other thing you'll notice, some of the languages are also available for downloading um, offline. And so you can actually bring it down to the device and then have it available without being on Wi-Fi or whatever. So very useful if you're tra traveling. And for people who are, are really sort of paying attention, you'll also notice that there's a little camera here. And this is the one that caught my attention when I saw there was an option for that. Um, I wanted to know what that was about. And basically, I'm going to pick the device up now. And if you pan the camera over, you'll see I have my monitor there. And I've gone to a, a poster, a Spanish poster, which I have no idea what it says. Um, if I now take the surface and I hit that camera, you'll see that it's, it's, um, it's gone to the text there. It's getting off the monitor. And now on top of the image, it actually translated it to English. Um, so that you can take a look at it and read it. And if I go to the bottom of the screen here, there's some more. You just hold it and anything that it can pick out, um, depending on the, the, the text, and you can see some of the stuff it's getting wrong. Um, but it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, and I've tried this on a few things. We actually, I was showing some guys at work and so we were trying to translate everything we could think of. Um, now the, the languages that they support for this translation right now are not, um, they don't have that many languages that support that, but very cool feature. Um, so it's something I'm looking forward to, to try the next time that I, that I travel somewhere. Um, and so you'll see, you just pick the languages, go back and forth. Um, some of them don't read back yet either. Um, so Thailand is a place that I'm hoping to go to in the next couple months. They don't actually read that one yet. Um, but just keep, keep your eyes on the, the site. I know I will because very useful thing to have, especially um, by being able to download this one locally so that um, you have it just available with your device. Um, and if anyone does have the Windows phone, this same application is available on the phone and works just as well. So very cool. Um, and that's it for now. I hope to post another video in the next couple of days on a couple of games I've been playing with as well. Stay tuned.